Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'll be showing you inspecting the hives for the first time. It is the first day of spring, so it's March 21st. As you can see, it's a beautiful day. It's about 15 degrees. You want to check the bees about 15, 16 degrees. It's very warm. I could wear a t-shirt if I wanted to. And the fact the bees are busy, that's telling me, right, there's stuff out there. There's loads of dandelions everywhere and it's okay to inspect when the bees are foraging but well on a warm day. So let's crack into a hive. So I think we'll go, don't want to inspect the big ones really, but uh, I'll probably go with this one. Okay, so take off this block. As this is the first time I'm inspecting these. So if you're a beginner beekeeper or you uh, have forgotten how to inspect your bees, because often people do, you know, they come out and um, it's springtime and they've forgotten how to do it a bit, then this is the video for you. So you can see we've got the fondant here. They're tucking into that. They've eaten loads. They've had several packets this year. Seems to have needed a lot of fondant this year. Just put it down carefully. So we've got a hive. And when you first approach the hive, you're going to want to check it from the back of the hive. You don't want to check it from the front because you'll be in their flight path. So this is going to be a very basic inspection type video. You've got your hive tool. I like a J type shaped one. And I'm going to be talking to you about what you should look for when you're first checking your bees. So we're just going to be very careful with the outside frame. We don't want to disturb them too much. Just very calm movements um, and we'll be alright. Just nice and calm. You might squish a couple of bees. That can't really be helped that much. Oops. So we've got our first frame. And you can see we haven't really got anything on it. It's just a comb. Only half drawn as well. And uh, onto the next frame. So take out the frame carefully. We just pull it out like that. Okay, so what I can see here is we've got some pollen stored in here and a bit of fresh nectar. You can see that glisten. So I can see we've got a nectar flow a bit. Um, and we just carefully put this one back in. So the main thing we're doing is we're constantly looking out for the queen. It's partly why we're here. We're gonna check to see if the queen is laying and is healthy. And that's one of our main objectives here. So this frame is chock a block of pollen, completely full. Um, that mainly looks like lime and a bit of dandelion. So various plants and maybe a bit of black thorn in there as well. So we're just gonna put this back carefully. Be very, very slow with all your movements. You don't wanna agitate them too much. And you just wanna be nice and gentle when you're moving your pot. Don't want to squish any bees. So, So I've changed the camera angle a bit so you can see what's going on a bit better, hopefully. And just got to be slow and steady with our movements. If you get any bees on, just gently brush them off and then just move the frame, lever it apart. So, then we just grab the frame like this and we just carefully pull it out. And we're already into some lovely brood. So that's nice to see. Some nice brood there. Lots of eggs, a bit of drone brood, but that's fine. Um, we're all right with that. And nice 
eggs and larvae in there. A nice brood pattern, I'll show you the other side. Nice brood pattern, as you can see. And then we just want to carefully slide this frame back. So we've already got a frame of brood. Now that's very good because we know that the queen's been there recently and the fact we've seen eggs tells us she's been there in the last three or so days. So that's nice to see as well. It's very nice to see um, eggs and brood quite early on in the year. So we're a couple of frames in. Now let's just leave our next frame out very gently and pull it out carefully. So we've got another frame of brood. We've got a fair amount of drone brood, um, but that's all right. I think because of the very warm weather, that's what we would expect at this point in the year. So these guys will expand very nicely as well. Um, also, queens also can misfire early on in the year. So that's why you've got a small amount of spotty bits, but mainly workers, so I'm not too worried about that. And you can see this colony is, has got quite a lot of bees in it. So, so we've got a lot of bees in here. I'm just gonna carefully put it back. You just wanna be careful. You don't wanna squish any bees. You just want to be slow with your movements and you can see I've got lots of bees so if you just shake them, shake them off a bit, they'll move aside nicely. So we just want to be careful. Slow movements, I don't want to damage anything. And another frame of brood. Another side of brood. This stuff is hatching. Um, so we've got a nice frame. We just want to be careful with our movements. Slide it back in. Just be nice and slow when we move. So, just nice and slowly. And just on to the next frame. We've got another frame of brood. We've got lots of nectar coming in, so we, I, am, I am aware that um, the queen might run short of space fairly soon. Um, you can see that's a nice pattern of brood. Ideally, it would be a bit more full, but there are, yep, it is full. There are loads of eggs everywhere. So that's nice. And I think the queen is probably on the next one. She's expanding very quickly in this hive. Um, so we've got to be aware of that as well. We've just got to be conscious that they might run out of space soon. And when the bees run out of space, what they will often do is they will try and swarm and you don't want them to swarm early on because then that's meaning you don't probably get any honey or not as much uh, i'll just transfer you guys over to this side so you can see what i'm doing a bit better just be careful careful with the bees careful with our movements and then hopefully nothing goes wrong. We just got to be slow. So you can see our next frame, we just carefully lever it. We want to be slow and steady with our motion, especially on the first inspection because you really don't want to kill the queen when you first check. So yeah, she's, there are eggs in here as well. Um, so I'm very conscious that she's probably gonna run out of space fairly quick. So our beautiful queen is there. I hope you guys can see it. So 
So our beautiful queen is there. You can see she's the one with the red dot. She's right there. And you can see that they will probably be pushed for space fairly soon because this whole side, this whole frame is completely packed with brood and probably the next one as well. So we've already got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight frames of brood. You can see she's actually laying an egg right now. So that's really genuinely how quick um, these colonies expand. So we're gonna put her back very safely. We really don't wanna break our queen or damage her. She's already got a broken wing, but she arrived like that. So that's not too worrying. So then what we're going to do is, I don't need to go any further, I can see that the brood probably goes up to here, all the way back to about here, so that's quite a lot of frames of brood, uh, even back to here rather. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight frames of brood, which means she's only got one, two, three frames, four frames left. So this box is two thirds full of brood, so that tells me that we're going to need to um, uh, split her soon or do some kind of manipulation so then once we've checked the frames we want to we take our hive tool and we just go from each side to the next side just like that it's just a bit hard to do it one-handed and we need to get it up to there but we want to be careful we don't want to squish any bees so then what we can do is we can stick our hive tool in the gap to move the bees aside just be careful and then with our hand we push it together quickly and there's no bees there so what we do in our hand stick our high tool in there very gently sorry the camera angle's not very good but I'm doing that. And then once all the bees are free, we push it together fairly quickly. And then our colony is inspected. That's how I inspect my colonies. I don't spend too long on them, but I do spend, let me just move this, I do spend longer on them when I know I have something to do. So say I wanted to split this hive and you can see, you know, this hive is very, very full of bees. I looked after them very carefully through the winter to get them to this point, but that also means that they're going to swarm very quickly. And bearing in mind it's only March 21st, it's the first proper official day of spring, and they've built up so quick in the last week because we've had really, really warm weather. But next week it's going to go a bit colder again, so not too cold, but a couple of degrees colder. But I expect they'll still forage like they are now. So we just push this in gently, like that. This side, like that. You really don't want to squish the bees because it makes the bees angry for a start. And um, if you squish them, you have a chance that you could kill your queen in the box. So that's basically how I inspect my hives. You can see this hive is booming. This is actually one of the smaller ones. Those are actually bigger, hence the double brood. Um, Crown board, we're just going to slide back on. So that's nice and that's done. So you can see they've still got plenty of fondant left. They had some pollen, they have more fondant here. This packet's nearly empty, but um, yeah, that is a complete inspection. Obviously, I would spend longer if I was trying to accomplish something. I was actually trying to do something but as I'm not I only spent about 10 minutes so that's about it that's just how you should inspect your hive when you either first get bees or when the weather's nice and warm like it is today you can see they're bringing in loads of pollen so lots of nice yellow pollen coming in you can see the entrance is actually stained a bit on the other side and uh, lots of bees and the pollens kind of um, indicates that they're rearing brood um, 
and that hopefully there's a queen in there, but you can't be sure until you check them. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, I checked the bees. I've got five hives here and four over there, so I've got nearly 10 hives. Um, so yeah, you're always gonna squish a couple of bees because these rebated edges, the only thing is, is you can't twist the lid on, it has to go straight on. Um, which means that you crush a few, but, but, uh, yeah. So that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed that video and that's just how I inspect the bees. Um, and I'll see you on the next video.